Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I got my Sephora package from the VIV sale and I wanted to do some unboxing with you guys as well as give you some of my recommendations that I would restock on. So these were three items that I got this year. And I got the Fantasia Disney palette, the eyeshadow palette. So I just picked up these three items, but um, they were all limited edition. So the first item is this Westman Atelier Squeaky and Cheeky Duo. So it's Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in Petite Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. That's what that looks like. This is a holiday set, and this one um, is called My Puche Trochet. I think I don't know what that is. It's in French, and this brand looks very expensive. So I was happy that they had these miniature sets. And actually, yeah, these are. I think both of them are in the mini size. And this one retails for 48 but you know, we get a discount with VIB depending on your tier. So let's open this up together. And it says, this is a pillowy tinted lip treatment and multitasking cheek color made with skin nourishing actives and high performance pigments for a look that's always effortless, never overdone. And they're still be very clean and luxurious, so I've been eyeing this brand for some time. So I was excited to pick this up. Ooh, there's a little heart in here. And I'll open it up. One is light, one is dark. So that's what this looks like. This has an engraving, and it's in this matte plastic feeling. These are actually a little bit smaller than what I expected, especially given that it was $48, $50 for both of this. This one is much lighter than this one. This is the lip balm, and it's in the color um, My Puche. P-U-C-E, Raspberry Lolly. So it's this nice raspberry color. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is like so heavy and luxurious. I think this is like worth the money because it feels amazing. And then this product is also really cool because it's engraved and it just has such a luxurious like look to it. But I think this one is not as heavy as this one. This one feels like there's metal in it or something. I love the feel of both of these. And this is beautiful, this packaging here. And this is in the color um, Cochette, I think. It's in the nude peach. Ooh, how pretty. Oh no, mine came damaged a little bit. You see how in the front there's like a little bit? That's... I think it's, yeah, it's on the cap, so it's, it's like stained. Oh, I don't like that. Let's see how long this is. It looks so new and like gleaming. Okay, so this is how much product you get, and it's 2.5 grams or 0.21 ounce. So, oh, that's unfortunate that it's kind of like not these are so cute. It's good for like travel size. Let's look at this one. This is such a beautiful packaging. It's glossy on top and then it's matte on the body. And then you have this glossy texture on the text. And then you, I can peek at the color here. That is so cool. I'm gonna try this on my lips. And it's a lip balm so I hope it's the weight of this product is so nice. Ooh, 
that's what that applicator looks like. There's no scent. It looks almost like a hot pink, but it's supposed to be raspberry. Let me try this. The color is very, very light. There's almost no color. <laughs> so, hmm. let me grab some more pot. Let's see if that helps with the color too. There's a very light smell now. It's a little bit raspberry, but mostly no. You can barely see it. Well, a little bit. Not what I was expecting. I expected more of this color. But you don't really see it on my lips as much. So there's that. But I love, I think, the packaging the most on these two. So we'll see if um, I like them. How I like them in the long term. But that is kind of the first impression that I have. I love the way. They feel almost metallic or magnetic. So that is those two. The next item I'm really excited about is this from Tower 28. This is their Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm. And you can actually use this on both your cheeks as well as your lips. So it's a multitasking item. Um, so it says tap and blend onto cheeks and lips, and I got this in the color happy hour So I actually already had this from um, Last year I got it in I think it was magic hour Which is one of the original shades and I really like the formulation. I love that it's clean um, I love how it goes on like on the cheeks. So I love this color in happy hour and I decided to pick it up So let's open this together Ooh, It's supposed to be like a nice coral pink. Oh my gosh. I think this color is so gorgeous And so much fun. Look how bright and pretty that is. It's like it's like a hot pink, but not really. I love this. It's like a strawberry color. And I think what inspired me to get this was I was um, looking at the soft spoken lip from um, M Cosmetics. And I was like, it'd be really cool if I had a product that matched the color of the lips with the cheeks. And this actually happened to be something that I spotted. So, um, yeah, this is super cool. I'm really excited about this. Let's try it out together right now. So let me do my cheeks first. So this formula is really nice. It's clean and it just, oh, there's such a nice color payoff as you can see here. And I love that you can just blend it so easily with your fingers. This is the, the cutest color. And you know, it doesn't show up like that on your cheeks. It looks obviously like more natural here. And I just want to try this on my lips as well. Nice, the color is definitely more pigmented than the raspberry one from Last Man Atelier. And I feel so good putting these products on knowing that it's clean and, you know, so it has a little bit color on my finger. You kind of see it there. So you can just swipe that onto my cheeks as well. Very easy. And these smell so good. They smell like plant. Like some type of vegetable oil, I want to say. I feel like that's so easy and it makes you look so good. It just brightens up your complexion. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do the other cheek as well. Oh, it's so it's such a cute color. I really like this so far. Yeah, so I rarely like go back and buy the same product 
in different colors because I feel like there's just so many different products on the market that I could always like pick up something else but this is good enough to the point where you know I would buy this in multiple colors and I did <laughs> so and look how cute this is really like this color panel and the formula and the way it smells so very cute color I love that that's that one. So I would recommend, I think it's Tower 28 in general. They're just a really cute brand and they're clean. In particular, this product, I think it's so fun, so usable, and um, so pigmented. So that's that one. Put that away. And then the final product that I got was this limited edition Fantasia collaboration between Disney and I think it's Patrick Star. It's called, yeah, it's One Size with Patrick Star, I believe. And it's the Fantasia storybook. Isn't it so cute and pretty? And there you have Mickey. And then you have, you know, all the, um, different things in the Fantasia show, which is, I think, the water show at Disneyland. So cute. And then you have one star at the bottom. So it says, one size Disney Fantasia storybook, Mickey face and eye palette in the back. And, okay, you have, oh boy, shooting star transformer. Find your story of transformation with this limited edition palette filled with magical essentials for face and eyes. So you have, looks like you have blush set here. This one is Orchestra Full Impact Matte Blush. This is a sheen blush. Sheen blush and matte blush. You have two matte blushes on top and two sheen blushes here. And then you have four eyeshadows here. And then I think these are highlighters, so a full face palette. That is so cool, I love that. Let's open it and see. Ooh, that's what that looks like. It's very shiny. And then you have the same on the back. Here you have Mickey with his broom. So magical. Disney always does such a great job. And then on the side, one side is blue here and then the other is red. Same here. Let's open this up. And I actually saw this in store, so that's how I found out about it originally. And uh I don't know how to show you guys with the mirror. <laughs> So that's what that looks like. So here it is. Let me take off the... So here's what that looks like. Amazing. Look at these. It's a full face palette and you have these two matte blushes and two sheen blushes down here. And they also have their names on top. This one looks a little bit peach, but in person it's a little bit darker. It could almost act as a bronze. This one is a very deep mauve blush. Like, it might be a little bit too deep for me. I don't know if you can see that. And then this one, Finale, is quite a bronzy red. And this one is golden. Or it looks golden in person, so I'm not sure if I would use that as a blush. This one, oh, this one has a little Mickey hat with the Fantasia here. This one has classical with the music note. And then the broomstick. This one has a broomstick. And D minor, I guess is what that color is. This one is a really dark brown in real life. It's showing up a little bit lighter on camera, I would say. And then this one, these two are glittery or shimmery and these two are matte I would say all of these are a little bit 
these two are a little bit dark in terms of the blending color, but all of these go really well mixed together, so it's a nice color story. The O oh Boy here is a really bright white and like super bright. This one has almost a dual chrome. The, this one says Yinsid. This one is like purpley white, like a pink sheen. I, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's showing up in color in like in on the camera, but it has like a purple sheen and I would almost say like a dual chrome, like a sheen between white and purple and it kind of shifts in color. So that one's really cool. And the difference is like it looks subtle on camera, but it's really obvious like when I look at it in the pan. And then on this side, you have a little mirror. Oh, I'll just block it here. But like you have little Mickey there. And then on here, it says unlock your magic. Unlock your magic. Oh, there's a little tab here. Oh, oh wow. That's so cool. Let me see what that says. So, oh, you have a little Mickey here. In Fantasia. And let's see, it says reach for the stars here. How beautiful. He has Mickey like standing on top of that cliff. And then all these brooms. That's so cool. And over here you have some writing. It says makeup is a one size fits all. Disney's magic has always inspired me to dream big. I hope this collection inspires you to reach for the stars. Patrick Star from Wednesday. That is so cool. What a cool face palette. And I love that it's like multi dimensional. It covers your whole face. And then there's a nice little Easter egg slash surprise here. This is very unique. Such a nice touch here. Amazing palette. Awesome. So those were all the items I picked up this year. I didn't go like super crazy, but I do have some things I love restocking on. And um, there's two skin items that I really like. The first one is this um, Drunk Elephant. This is their polypeptide cream. So this is a moisturizer and it opens up like this and it comes out. You press it here and comes out in this nice, like very standard cream texture but let me tell you this is one of my holy grails like i use this overnight and it changes my skin overnight so i always use this like between retinol and skin cycling and it is one of the best moisturizers in my opinion on the market it is a little bit pricey so um it is but I feel like it's worth the price because I literally, I can see the difference in my skin overnight. So I really love this highlighter. Or sorry, not highlighter. I really love this moisturizer. So I would restock on this one, if anything. Um, and I don't use this every night because I rotate through like different serums and moisturizers. But because it's a little bit more expensive. But I think I would if I could. <laughs> it's just that good. Um, it's like... This is only 1.7 fluid ounces, so it's like 60 m a 50 ml, but yeah, I would restock on this one. And then for eye cream, I just went through this Clinique peptide. But this is also one of my favorite um, eye creams. I think it it also works. So I don't know. I just like really like peptide things, so it works really well on my skin. So I would also restock on this eye cream. Um, another item that I really like, and I've been using this quite a bit recently, is this Merit um, lip oil, lip oil stain. This also has really gorgeous packaging, and it feels so luxurious. Um, but what I really like about it is that it has good color payoff, and it goes on um, like a stain, and then over time it it's also very moisturizing, so I actually feel like this moisturizes my lips along with, um, like, adding great color to it. 
another item which is from tower 28 so i picked this up like last year um but i really do like their jelly loaf oil so this is the original um cheek and lip palette that i have and this is in the color magic hour and then this one is in pistachio but i really love both of these items um so and I, do, I reach for these so much so this is what that color looks like this is like a nude pink peach color and they kind of like match really well so i'm so glad i picked that up like that packet up but um that set is not available anymore but you can buy these individually and yeah this color is like a nude perfect peach color it's so pretty so easy to use just like the other one and then this one is their lip jelly and i love this lip gloss it's very well highly rated and um i love it because it smells so good it really smells like an almond milkshake i love smelling it every time i put it on and um what color this color is like a nude peach color or nude pink color and it's just the slightest tint but it also is very moisturizing i'll use this almost as like a lip balm and then the last item i would recommend and this is no longer available this is the hourglass ambient lighting edit universe so hourglass always let me just take this out to show you guys So this is the one from last year, but what our does, Hourglass does is they always come out with these palettes every year, these limited edition holiday palettes, and I love these. Um, basically you get, last year you got five of their products in one thing, and they're a little bit pricey, but you're getting like all of these things, and look how pretty they are. I love the gradient texture. Hourglass just has like the best powder formula I would say on the market for your face it's so soft and so like lit from within I have three new ones this year and it has like these animals on them one is an elephant one is a tiger and I think the other one's a butterfly they're all so gorgeous but I just didn't pick them up because I actually have I have multiple palettes from them and um I just have a lot I have three of these from you know all the prior years and then last year was the first year they switched to this like metal packaging for sustainability uh, purposes and i love that and they've continued that this year um and they actually have more choices this year so i think that's really great you actually get like six different products this year so last year this is one product over here but this year they have two here so you get six different colors as opposed to just five and then last year the first one was this finishing powder um let me show you guys again so this one is the finishing powder right here and i'll swatch it here it's so pretty it's such a nice like powder and it feels sometimes i like to just swatch them because they feel so nice so this is a finishing powder and you can use it all over the face and then you have two is a stroke blush three is a bronzer four is a blush and five is a highlight so this is a blush and this is actually a bronzer and then this is also a blush and this is a highlighter so i'll show you guys the highlighter real quickly that one has a little bit of texture so i think it's a little bit brighter I mean it's pretty similar I think to like the finishing powder here but the two blushes are also really pretty this one is kind of like a pink like a hot pink almost matching this one I'll show you mm. so pretty and then this one is like a mauve like a deeper color hmm so it's not coming off on the swatch how come you can barely see it it's so funny Maybe because I haven't used it in a while. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's like a darker pink mauve color. So, I love these palettes. And 
I just have a lot of them so I didn't pick one up this year but if you guys get the chance I would recommend picking up the limited edition sets this year because once they the holidays are over they um they stop selling the DVD so they're very limited edition and I have never regretted getting one of these and they're always so gorgeous um, and a great way to have different products from Hourglass so would recommend um a lot of the powders from Hourglass in general actually so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I didn't pick up too many things, didn't go too crazy this year, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye everyone!